I'm Kathy Smith. Welcome to my fat burning workout. You know, everywhere I go, I meet people who want to lose weight, whether they're near their ideal weights or struggling to take off several extra pounds. Well, I'm happy to say that I've got a workout that's specifically designed to burn fat. What I've done in this program is taken three of the latest discoveries about fat and fitness and put them right to work for us. First of all, it's low and slow. That means you'll be working at the lower end of your target heart rate and at a slower pace, one that's surprisingly comfortable. In this program, the music, beats, and moves are all specially designed to keep you in this low intensity target range because that keeps you in a fat burning state. Secondly, time is on your side in this video. In traditional aerobics, you only really get about 15 to 20 minutes of continuous movement. Stopping at that point just barely taps into your fat stores. You see, when the body starts moving, its first reaction is to use glycogen, a muscle sugar, as fuel. That's because glycogen is immediately available to the muscles. Now the truth is, is that you don't slim down much when you're burning glycogen. However, you really change your shape when the body starts burning fat as its chief fuel. But that takes a little longer. As you exercise beyond that 15 minute mark, a greater percentage of your energy comes from fat deposits. By 30 minutes, you've got about 75% of your energy coming from fat. And beyond that, you start hitting the 99% fat burning stage. In this video, you'll get over 40 minutes of fat burning workout. And thirdly, muscle toning with continuous movement. Instead of toning work done on the floor like in many programs, you'll be performing all that great figure shaping while standing, dancing, and of course, burning fat. The muscle toning focus segments are a real breakthrough and unique to this workout. They're based on brand new research that shows a greater fat burning capacity occurs when continuous movement is coupled with muscle toning. Now comments from people who have used this workout range from men telling me that they've gotten rid of stubborn spare tires to women reporting that they have noticeably reduced the size of their thighs and hips, places that were resistant to other types of workouts. It's a sure bet that you can get great results, so give it your best shot. Now, just a few words of caution before we jump in. Pay close attention to the body check inserts during the warm-up. They're meant to keep you well aligned during exercise and to prevent any strain. You'll also be asked to check your intensity level using both the target heart rate chart and the Borg scale. For the heart rate check, you'll want to count the number of pulses you feel in a 10 second period right here on your wrist. Then check the chart to see if you're on target. If the number of pulses you felt is below the number listed for your age, then try to work a little harder. If it's above it, slow down. The second way to determine how hard you're working is to check your perceived exertion. While you're exercising, choose the level that best describes how hard you're working. Between 12 and 14 is just about the right amount, so try to keep it there if you want to burn fat. Something interesting about this scale, researchers found that if you add a zero to the number you select, for example 14 becomes 140, your actual heart rate may be close to that number. And finally, I've added something called modifiers. These offer beginning adaptations to many of the exercises. If you're just starting out, you should definitely pace yourself and follow the modifiers. You'll still derive the fat burning benefits while giving your body a chance to progress safely. And as I stress in all my tapes, you've got to wear good aerobic shoes and comfortable clothes. Don't exercise on a full stomach or let yourself get thirsty. Drink plenty of water. And finally, check with your physician before you start if you haven't been exercising on a regular basis. Okay, are you ready to burn it up? Well, let's go. I'm ready to work out. How are you doing? Good. I want you to meet some friends of mine. We have Adina and Nancy here and Kathleen and Mark. You guys ready to burn some fat? Yes. We got to start with the warm up though. So here we go. Let's get moving. Feet shoulder width apart. Start with some breathing. Inhale up. Take it up. Two, three. Exhale out. Take it down. Two, three. Inhale up. Deep breath. Fill those lungs. Exhale out. Take it down. Two, three, now again. Inhale up, fill it up. Exhale out, two, three, last time. Inhale up, two, three, now exhale out. Take it down, 
Keep it breathing, inhale up again. Take a second to make sure you're breathing from your diaphragm. Place your fingers on your abdominals and feel them expand as you inhale, filling up your lungs. Now exhale and feel the abdominals fall back down again. That's what we mean by deep diaphragmatic breathing. Now this helps you fill your lungs with oxygen and that's the first step in warming up. We're gonna get ready to shake it out now. That's five, six, we shake it to the side. Shake it one, two, three, up. Down, down, down and up. Down, 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 up. You got it. Let's start nice and easy. Side to side. One last time. Now just side to side, here you go, side. Another set. <laughs> That's five, six, seven. Now bigger arms, take them out nice and wide. Reach with those arms, straight arms. Another set, reach. Okay, you have to bend and straighten now. Use the legs, warm up the body. Last two, circle the arms around. Another set of eight. One, two. Press the arms to the ceiling, alternate. Okay, don't forget to breathe. Last two, press it in front, press it out. Really pull that elbow back. Down and pull, down and pull, down and pull, down and pull. Last two, out to the side. Down and press. <laughs> okay, last four. And take it one, two, three. Now press the arm down. Take it down. Okay, I want you to drop the knees a little bit more. Take it down, out, down, up, down, out. Don't let the knees extend beyond the toes. Protect them from injury by keeping them aligned directly over the foot. Okay, we're gonna do four more. Four, three, now stop the legs. Let's warm up the shoulders. Take it side, two, three, four. Really stretch out that back. Come back to center and now just hold. Stretch it out, good stretch. Hold on the other side. One more time each side and hold for four. Switch sides. Warming up the lower back, release the spine, and we round, release, round, release, round, release, round, release. Four more. And three. Last two. Now just drop the head and round it up. Take four, three, give me some shoulder rolls, and take it side, back, back, now lunge side to side. Take it one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, I'll add a bigger move. Bat the elbow, you got it. And five, six, now a straight arm back. And circle, really stretch that shoulder back. And four more. Five, six, seven, now across the body. Take it side, two, big circle. Hold it out there, hold and lunge. Lunge side to side. Give me four more, three, two now. Just hold it to the side, let's stretch out our sides, bring it all the way over, and hold it. Feel it stretch through the side. Bring it back, now I want you to stretch out that neck, keeping the opposite shoulder down. Back to a good side stretch, just hold it here. Release the arm, take it down, two, three. Now lunge side to side, and side. We have to do the whole stretch on the other side. Get a little deeper, and just hold it to the side. Hold. Let's stretch out the neck area. I just want to drop that head, put a little pressure with your hand as you pull down with the opposite arm. Let's release and stretch out. One more good stretch on that side. Stretch it out. Release the arm, and bring it down. Two, now lunge side to side. Here you go, take it deeper. Deeper, a little deeper into those legs. Let's warm them up. Hold the lunge to the side. Hold it here. Let's 
turn it around. And just hold. Now what I want you to think about is keeping that toe in alignment with the heel so you feel a stretch on the back of the calf. Up and down with the toe. And take it up and down. And up, press through the heel. Take it up, down, up. Give me another four. Take it up, down, up. Feel the stretch in the calf. Now bend the knee out and in. Bend out, press through the heel. We're warming up the ankle and still stretching that back of the calf and leg. Keeping that hip parallel and facing forward. Give me the last two. Now stretching the hip flexor. Bend the knee in, lifting up with the abdominals, chest up, press through the hip and feel the stretch to the front of the leg. Hold it there. Hold it. Five, six. Now let's change our foot position a little bit. Take the right leg in front, hold it down as you keep the chest up, the abdominals in, the back straight, supporting yourself on your thighs so you feel a stretch in the hamstrings. Okay, side to side, move it. Take it in and back. Come on, in and back. Now watch your feet. Toe and then your heel. Take it, toe and heel and toe and heel and toe. Last time, side to side for eight. Take it one, two, and three. Start to get a little bigger. Yeah. Lunge, side, here you go. Take it side. Two, three, four, and five. Six, let's hold it on the side and hold it. Hold for four. Get a little deeper into your stretch. Now turn it around and let's press that heel again into the floor, feeling the stretch in the calf muscle. Again, watching your alignment, making sure the hips are parallel. Good, now up and down. Up on the toe and down and up. Press through the heel. Make sure the heel is right behind the toe so you feel the stretch. Last two. Bend the knee in. Here you go. Bend it in, release. Bend it in, release. Bend, feel the roll through the ankle. And bend, release. Bend, release. The last two. Okay, now on the last one, I want you to bend it back in again and let's stretch out the hip flexors, pressing the hips forward, lifting them up with the chest, the abdominals, and squeezing the buttocks slightly. Feel it right through the front of the leg. Okay, let's adjust the feet slightly. Just bring the back foot in, front foot out a little bit. Rest yourself on your thigh. You want the back straight, but keeping the chest pulled forward. You're gonna feel a nice stretch through the hamstring. Okay, seven, now release it. Go back and forth and back and forth. That's three. This is four, give me four more. Take it down and back and down. And back and down. Now side to side for eight. You got it. And take it side to side to side. Okay, you should be warmed up now. Ready for some fat burning exercises. Are you guys ready? We're okay. ready. Keep it going. And down, down, and down. Okay, are you ready to burn some fat? Are you guys ready? Yes. yes. Let's start by marching it out. And five, six, seven, and march. March it out. Now, be sure to pace yourself. We're gonna pick it up little by little, but I want you to start very slowly. We're gonna start with the walk forward, nice and gentle. One, two, three, four, walk it forward, seven, eight. Go, two, three, and touch, back. Again, and back, and forward, and back, two, three, and touch. Last time forward, hold it here, now side to side, side step, side step. Give me another set of eight. Take it, one, two, three, four. Let's put the two moves together. Take it forward, here we go. One, two, three, touch. Back now, side to side. Side, side, forward again. Go, one, two, three, and touch, and back. Now, side to side. Gonna add a new arm movement here. A bicep curl, forward, take it. One, two, three, and touch. Side to side, side, touch. Same arm, forward, go, one, two, three, and touch. Now side, side, and touch. Arms go out in front of you. A little bigger arm this time. Bigger range of motion, make it a little bigger even with the legs this time. And push it, two, three, touch, back. Last time, side to side. This time the arms go to the ceiling. Take it a little broader, touch, side to side. Last time forward, and one, two, three, and touch. 
So just hold it here. Side, side. Now two counts to the right. Take it. One, two, again. Left for two. Side for two. We're going to drop the arms and just walk it up. Take it. One, two, three, and touch. Keep it going. Two more sets. Now we're going to start a progression. Progression starts low to the ground. You got to bend the knees. Five, six, now take it low. One, two, three, and touch. Keep it low, but if you're a beginner, don't take it so low. Just keep a slight bend in the leg. And as you get a little better, lower, 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 touch. Now add an arm extension. One, two, three, extend. Reach it out each time. Further, 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 reach. Further, 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 reach. Further, 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 last time. Now lift it up, the level goes up, and circle, circle. And burst it up, 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 and lift. Four more. Last two, now we're gonna add a double arm circle. And a leg, one, two, three, and burst up. Explode. Up, four more. Up. Last two. change. Up, two, three, and circle. Four circles. Double circles. Here you go. One, two, three, and reach. One, two, three. Uh, one, two, three, and higher. Lows again. Two's in each direction. Yeah, 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 yeah. Woo! Reach. And reach. Now up, two, three, and circle. Doubles. Left. Lows again, low, 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 and touch, low, low. Now reach, and reach, and circle. Up, two, three, and circle. Doubles, two more sets, here you go. What is it, low, 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 and touch, you got it. Touch, now we reach, now we have a level change. One more time, it's double, 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 circle. To the Drop the arms, take it one. Lift with the heel, not the toe, and keep the feet facing forward. That will really work the outer thigh. Now add the arms. And again. Now the focus is on the buttocks. Push off with the feet and squeeze the buttocks and lift from the gluteals. Okay, add the arms. Two. Up. Up, now press it out and move it, move it. Move it, drop the arms and focus. Come on, up. Keep on. Pick up the arms. Up. Drop the arm, now focus. Now the focus is on the buttocks. Push off with the feet and squeeze the buttocks and lift from the gluteals. Okay, add the arms. Two, three, four, five, six. Drop the arms again, now. You're working the gluteus maximus along with the small but important muscles in the back, the erector spinae. Okay, if you want that backside to be toned, this is the exercise. Pick up the arms again, take it out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, last time. Okay, we're gonna swing it out, back into action. Hold that resistance now and swing it. Two, three, four, five. Now let's take our first heart rate check. 
Now find your pulse and begin to count now. Now stop counting. How are you doing right now? If you find yourself creeping up on your range, try to do some of the modifiers to bring it back down again. Five, six, let's take it out. Now up, two, three, five, six, seven, give me another eight. Take it, one, two. Let's add the arms. Seven and eight, now pull it in a little tighter. Eight of these, four more, four, three, two, now add the knees, take it up, two. Lift it, lift it, take it behind again, take it side, two, three, four, pull it, five, six, forward for eight, here you go, take it forward. If you're feeling too winded, keep the knees low. Now another way to modify this is by dropping the arms. Three, now back again, take it back. Two, three, now move it forward, go. Up, two, three, now take it back, and up. Two, three, and take it forward. One more time, all the way through. Take it forward, yeah. last time. Add a knee lift, and take it one, two, three, switch sides. This is great for the posture. Now I add the feet. The waist. And this is great for the posture. And you're really working your back. Now keep this lift in all your movements. Think about working upwards from the waist and the hips. Okay, add the legs. Take it side. Two, three, four, and five, six, seven. I'll stop the feet and reach. Two, right through the waist. Five. Woo. Last time, hold the feet and hold it. Two, three, four, five. We're gonna walk it to the side. Four cuts, here you go. And one, two, three, and touch. Woo! Now just shake it out. Think about lifting nice and tall. Shake it. Add a knee lift. One, two, three, lift. One, two, three, knee. One, two, three, you go. Yeah. One, two, three, and lift. Give me two more. 
Exhale, let's add a contraction. Use the abdominals and, oh, use the abdominals and exhale. Let's hear it. I can't hear you. You got it. Last two. A new arm. Pull the arm back. Contract the abdominals and, oh, round the back. Oh. Pretend like somebody's punching you right in the stomach. Okay, it's time to check the perceived exertion scale. Now try to aim for the 12 to 14 range, the lower end of intensity. Be sure to adjust your effort if you're working a little too hard or not hard enough. Okay, now you're getting close to that 15 minute mark, so don't give up right now. The majority of your calories are now coming from fat, so keep it up. Five, six, now to the side, now side, two, three, Four and five, six, seven. Now another set. Take it side to side. You got it. Come. Five, six. One more set. Here you go. Take it side. Two, three. We're going to touch the heel in front. Five, six, seven. Heel in front. Take it side and touch. Side and touch. Woo. Another set of eight. Come on. And five, six, seven. Now cross in front, right at shoulder level. You got it. Now use the arms. Really press it. And five, yeah. six, seven. Another set. Press it harder, harder. And five, six, seven. Now windmill the arms. Take it side to side. Big windmill. You got it. Reach it tall. Five, six, seven. One more set. Reach it up. Two, three, four, and five. Now alternate the arms and take it back and forth. Pull it back, press it down. Five, six, seven, last set. One, two, three, four. The arms stay down this time. Both of them down. Here you go. Take it down, press it up. Down, press it up. Oh, yeah. Five, six, seven. Now let's focus. You're working the middle back. Now make those shoulder blades meet. That's good. Okay, now add the leg. Down and up and down and up. Down and up and down. Here you go. Focus on the primary muscles here, the lower trapezius and the rhomboids. That's the middle back. Now squeeze the shoulder blades together. Down and up and down and up and down and up. Last time, here we go. Focus. Down, press the blades. Use that middle back. Now this is great for your posture, great for rounded shoulders. Down and up and down and up. Last time. Now let's focus again. And down, up, down, up, down, up. Let's add the heel one last time. Down and back and down. This time we're going to press the elbows back. Here you go. And press it. Still using that middle back.
hand on your working arm here at the wrist or hand. Push down as you try to lift your arm against that force. And side to side. Two. Woo. Yeah. Five. Stick the other side. We're focusing on the biceps. Create tension. Don't just do it without thinking about it. Come on. Now add the lunge. Bump. 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 Five. Six. Seven. Back to focus. And focus. Yeah. Cause some resistance. Create resistance. You got it. Six. Seven. Back to lunges. Go. You got it. Press it. Six. One more set. Last set. Focus on the bicep. Creating that tension. Five, six, seven. Last set of lunges. Go. One, two. Okay, we're going to focus on the opposite muscle group, the tricep. And eight. And focus. Focus on the triceps. Keep the elbow in and the upper arm still. Now just extend that elbow. Yeah. Oh, you got it. Yeah. Two, three, four. And press it. Six, seven. Other side. Work in the back of the arm, the part that tends to get flabby. So create some tension and work it and use it. Now back to lunges. Press it. Two. Use it. Back of the arm. Yeah. Five. Six. Two more sets. You got it. And press it. Pump it up and down. Pump it. Use it. Extend that arm. Seven. One more time. Back and forth. Woo! Two. Three. three four. four. Press it. Five. Six. Last time for those triceps. Make it work. You got it. Five, six, seven, last set of lunges. One, two, three, four. New arm. Circle it around. And last 16. Now work for me. Work for me. You can do it. Heart rate check. Now find your pulse and begin to count now. Now stop counting. How are you doing right now? If you find yourself creeping up on your range, try to do some of the modifiers to bring it back down again. One, two, three. Four. Now we're going to do a cha-cha-cha, leading with the right leg. Here you go. Take it. One, back. One, two, three. Other leg. Okay, now alternate back and forth. One, two, three. It's the forward, back. One, two, three. Forward, back. One, two, three. Got it? Yep. Yep. Okay, we're going into a lunge routine, starting with the right leg. Lunge, press it back. Now I want you to focus on your legs. Now lead with the heel. Keep the knee over the heel and push off back to center. That's right. Keep lifted in the torso as you lead with the heel and push back to center. On back to cha-cha. Take it. Add some arms this time. It's one, two, one, two, three. Now take it forward. Okay, give me four more now. This is one, two, three. Last one. Going back to those lunges. Here you go. Now really press it. Focus on the legs. Lunges are a super exercise. They pull in a lot of muscle groups, including your quadricep, hamstrings, and gluteals. Okay, keep it going. Last one back to the cha-cha-cha. One, two, one, two, three. Shake it out. Come on. One, two, one, two, three. One, two. Again, give me four more. Three more. Back to the lunges. Here you go. And now concentrate on the muscles of the leg. Down, push it back to center. If this is too hard, try lunging back instead. It's easier on the knees to reach back, and you can still build a strong, tight thigh and backside. Back to the cha-cha-cha. Come on, shake it out. Yeah. Now we only got one more after this. One more. You got it. Now give me two more of these. Shake it out. Catch your breath. Back to lunges. Much as you can. Boom. Press it back. Now keep the knee over the heel and push back to center. Down, press it back to center. Down. Stay lifted through the torso. Down, press it back. Give me two more. I know it's getting tough. Yeah. Shake it out. Cha cha cha. One, two, cha cha cha. Woo. Last one. Now just drop the arms. Keep the feet going. One, two, one, two, three. We're going to do the same move, but take it to the side. 
There you go. Take it to the side. Take it. Left. One, two, three. Other side. Okay, let's take that same move. Make the space in between a little bigger. One, two. One, two, three. Transition step. Side, two, three, four, and five, six, seven of the lats pull in. Elbows pull in. And five, six, seven. Here you go. Take it up and down. Pull your elbows from up above straight down and feel the tension in those muscles as you pull. Add the feet. Back to focus, here you go. Concentrate on the large muscles of the back, the latissimus dorsi. Build in your own resistance. Now, let's add the feet. Side. One, two, three, and back. We're gonna add an arm. Here you go. Take it one, two, three, and press. Again, take it one, two, three. Again. Back again. Arms go to the ceiling. One, two, three, and touch. Back again. One, two, three, and touch. Back again. Again, and one, two, three, and touch, back, up again. Three more. Last time. Hold it here, and hold for eight, seven, six, five, and four, three, side to side for eight. Start by moving it forward with an arm circle and stepping to the right. And seven, eight. Take it forward. Two, three. Now both arms back. Big back. Two, three. And step it forward again. Circle. Two, 
three. Now step it back, both arms bigger, bigger, bigger. Okay, take it forward again, side to side. Take it back, both arms. Forward again, last time forward. Last time back, push it, circle, circle. Now keep the arms going, change the leg. Take it up, two, three, four, five. Reach the ceiling, side to side, here you go. Take it slide. Reach, really stretch it out. Six, now ready for plies, here you go. Take it two, three, think about that inner thigh. It's five, six, back to plies. Now look, here's a way to modify it if you're just starting out. Simply dip down a few inches. You don't need to go too far to get the benefits of the legs. And if your shoulders are getting a little tired, drop the arms. Down, up, here you go, another set. Take it around, take it around. Woo! Now focus on the inner thighs. Keep your knees aligned and don't worry about your turnout. Now think up and tighten those inner thighs. This is a real trouble spot and the best way to get it is to focus on that area. Take it around. Two, three, four, and five, six. Last set, here you go. Take it down, squeeze it up. Really concentrate on the inner thigh. Focus. Now think of inner thigh pulling up. Down, up, down, give me two more. Woo! Last two. Press it to the ceiling, you did it. Press it up. Two, three, four, five. We're gonna take the leg behind, step behind, five, back. Two, one arm. Woo! Take it, five, six. Okay, reach the ceiling for eight. Reach it up. Okay, four more, three, two. Now take it down. Back, really step it back now, down and back. Now bend those knees, come on. You guys, stretch it back. And take it four up, three, two, take it four down, take it four, three. Now let's move this thing forward. You guys are getting back there. One, yeah. two, three, move it back. Take it four, three. Give me forward again, up, two. Really reach to the ceiling, take it back. But I want you to level change, down, Woo. down. Take it forward, take it up. Two, three, now take it down. Last time back, hold it here. Two arms. Give me four more. Three, now down and up. Take it down, reach it up. And reach it side. Side and up, stretch that side. Down. Down and up. Last two, side to side. Take it up, up. Five, six, seven, now up and down. Take it, reach, other side. Really stretch, stretch, last two. Stretch, uh, uh, shake it out, shake it out. Two, yeah. three, four. We're gonna take it, we're gonna move it to the side. Add a step, here you go. Take it, one, two, cut. We're gonna make it a little bit bigger. Woo! Now when I can want you to come around, really stretch those arms out. Woo! Okay, I need another set of eight from you. Come on, you can do it. One, uh, two, really reach. Three, stretch the leg. Four, stretch it out. Five, you got it. Six, last two. Shake it out. Okay, now let's look at the chart and note how the amount of energy derived from fat starts to rapidly overtake the amount derived from glycogen on this chart. Now, when you were at the 15 minute mark, you were burning about 50% fat. At the 25 minute mark, you were up to about 70%. But now at the 35 minute mark, you're at the 99% mark. So let's hear it. How do you guys feel? Good. And go. Let eight more. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, take it and pulse it, take it, pulse. Two, three, four, now we're gonna focus on the hips, legs, and buttocks. Take it down for eight, take it down, press it up. Now the focus is buttocks and legs. Now these are tough to do, but worth it. 
Only go as far as you can. Don't bring your fanny below the level of your knees. And make sure your knees aren't shaking. And now let's swing it up. Now look at the toes, up on the toes, up on the toes. Take it up, down, up. Now give me two more. Last two, last one, back to squat. We're working the gluteus maximus and the quads in the front of the legs. Now the abdominals should be tight the whole time and I want you to squeeze as you come up. Squeeze and tighten the buttocks each time you come up. Keep it going and now let's swing it up. Let's keep it going. Take it up, bring it down, up, down, up. Give me two more, seven and eight. And again, third set. Down, really squeeze it. Down, make it work. Down, press it up. Down and go. Down and squeeze it. And squeeze it when you come up. Squeeze and press. Keep it going. You ready for one more set? Yeah. Yeah. Here you go. Last set. Take it down. Bring it up. Down. If you're starting to get a little tired, though, I want you to keep it up a little bit. And remember, the accent is always up. Down. Press it up. Down. Press it up. Last one. And up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Give me four more. Okay. We're going to take two steps to the right. Pressing it out, here you go, and one, two, take it side to side for two, go, one, give me one more, we're going to add a step, right here, press it and press it again, step together, step, and press it out, press it again, step together, step, press for two, yeah. okay, last time, step, again, now what we're going to do on this side is add a move. You hold it here, now side to side, side step, side step, good, again, take it, one, two, three, together, press, now side to side, good, side, two, Let's make this good, all right, <laughs> <laughs> and press it side to side, take it left and right and left, now one more time, take it, set, ah, and press for two, side to side. Okay, this time we're gonna have one more move. We're gonna go back to our squatting move. Two, side to side. Two, three, now squat it. Take it up, press it down. Take it up, down, press through the gluteals. Back to the beginning, take it one, press one, and press for two, side to side. Back to the squats, up, down, and up. Down, and up, down. Give me two more sets. And step together, step in touch, press it out, side to side for four, back to the squats, take it up, press it down, press through the gluteals, one more time, last time, side to side, and take it out, last time, make it work, Woo! make it work, okay, this is it, because we're just going to start to cool it down, and take it forward, two, three, now take it back, take it, one, two, three, four, five, six, forward again, forward, forward, and forward, and again, take it, one, two, three, four, five, six, now step it forward, two counts, take yeah. it back, two, three, again, two, uh, cooling it down, two more sets, up, two, and one, two, last set, now get into some hips. Here we go, side to side, take it side, two and one, two, three, again, side, two, one, two, two more sets, last set, take it in this direction, step across the leg, take it, step, cross, now just step together, step, touch, step, cross, step, cross, step, touch, step, cross, step, cross, step, touch, step, cross, step, touch, step. Okay, well you did it. Yeah! It's great work. Almost 40 minutes of fat burning exercises. Last two. One, two, step together. Last one, you did it, guys. <laughs> step together, shake it out, side to side. Woo! Good job. All right. Good side job. to side. Keep it going. Let's get 
ready to cool it down. You've been working out a long time now, and you deserve a relaxing cool down. So here we go. Feet shoulder width apart. We're going to start with the lunges. That's five, six, seven. Now take it to the side. And lunge. Okay, I want you to get into those legs. The pace is nice and slow. Let's hold it in the center. Now stretch out the back. And just breathe into it, and as you exhale, get a little deeper. Now hold for four, take it to the side and just hold it there and stretch it out, really feel it through that back and shoulder, other side. Now release the back, take it up and release, up, release, arch it, and round, release, and drop the head, release, drop, release, okay give me two more. Last one, now round it up, one, two, last thing to come up is your head, big inhale, take it up, now we're going to lunge to the side and stretch it out, big lunges, and side, and side, now I really want you to get into it and drop into it, come back, and drop, come back, and exhale, come back to center, Drop, come back, last time. Now come back to center and reach the ceiling. Reach it up and up, and now grab onto that wrist and reach as high to the ceiling as you can. And now I want you to round it forward into a C stretch. Now, that C stretch is to stretch out the back. And when you're stretching out the back, you want to keep those abdominals tight and reach through the arms. Let's take it to the side and get a little deeper stretch through the side of the back as well as the back. Okay, other side, and again, keep that stretch, keep pulling with those arms, and feel it as you keep those abdominals tight. Let's come back to center and reach up to the ceiling. Let's release the hands, interlock the fingers behind the back, and keeping the buttocks tucked under, stretch the hands down and back. It will give you a great stretch through the chest area. Okay, release the hand across the body, and exhale as you drop the shoulder and feel it through your deltoid. And now other side, and just relax it there, keeping it relaxed and the shoulder drop down. Now take the same hand and take it up to the ceiling and let's stretch the tricep. Hold it behind you and again, don't arch the back, keep the hips tucked under. Knees should be slightly bent. Other side. Let's release it up to the ceiling. Another big stretch, knees slightly bent, feet apart, and stretch to the side. Now the important thing here is not to let the shoulder turn forward. Keep it back, and up to the ceiling. And now let's stretch the other side. Lunge into it as you stretch and feel it through that side. And hold it there. Exhale, come back to the center. Feet come together. Opposite arms to the ceiling. One goes down and one goes up. And now stretch as far as you can. Opposite direction. Wiggle the fingers. <laughs> Other side. And reach one arm up and one arm down. And just stretch and stretch and stretch. And come back up to center. And now let's take it down to the ground. I want you to come down here on your side. And let's stretch the hamstrings. Keeping your balance by keeping the bottom leg slightly bent, grab onto your ankle, pressing the heel toward the buttocks, knee back, and hips forward. Feel the stretch through the front of the thigh. And now roll onto your back as you grab that same knee and pull it to the chest and hold it there. Feeling the sensation through your lower back and buttocks. Now rotate the ankle, rotate the foot inward, and then reverse the rotation and drop that leg across your body as you extend the opposite arm, keeping that shoulder on the floor and turn your head toward your arm. Feeling the stretch through the back and buttocks area. And back to center again. Now bend the bottom leg, drop that ankle on the bottom knee and lift it toward your chest. Now the important thing is to keep the knee out 
And as you become more flexible, grab onto that bottom leg and pull it slightly closer to your body to get a good stretch through the thigh and outer thigh and buttocks area. And now exhale as you reach that leg up to the ceiling and point it and flex it. And point and flex. Last time, point and flex. Now bend the knee and bring it into the chest. And this time I want you to extend the leg while keeping that knee close to the chest. Now if you're a beginner and you start to shake it all, release the tension by either releasing the stretch or bending the knee. Okay, leg drops down, both legs come up, and let's drop the legs open to stretch the inner thigh. And again, let the weight of your legs and your feet Pull the legs open. The more flexible, extend your legs out to the side, making sure that you don't let the back release and you don't arch the back. If this is too difficult, keep the legs slightly bent. And bring it back to center again. And now drop the legs, push yourself up, and let's circle all the way around and do the same stretches on the other leg. Again, let's get a nice straight line, everything in one parallel position. Bend that bottom leg, and now grab onto the ankle, pushing the hips forward, buttocks is tight, and knee is back. And release it on your back. Pull that knee into the chest, and just hold it there for a few seconds. Rotate the ankle, rotate the foot. And in the opposite direction. Now let's drop that knee across the body, reach out with the opposite arm, and let's stretch the back area. Keep making sure to keep the shoulder pressed down to the floor. Release it back to center. Slide the opposite leg up, drop the ankle on the knee, grab underneath and pull it closer to the chest. Making sure you keep the knee pressed out. And breathe. And drop the leg down, extend the leg up to the ceiling. Now I want you to point and flex and point and feel a deeper stretch as you flex. And again, point and hold that stretch and feel it not only through the calf, but also through the hamstring. And bend the leg as you bring it into the chest. And now hold it there. And I want you to keep the knee close to the chest as you extend it a little bit further this time. The more flexible you are, the closer you get it to your chest. But if you're feeling a little uncomfortable, release the tension. Okay, let's stretch it out. One last full body stretch. Here we go, head to toe, reach, reach with the fingers, reach with the toes, stretch, 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 and release. And now flip it over. And I want you to push up, on, buttocks under the heels. And now push up onto all fours. And what I want you to do is think about the back. We're going to start by rounding the back, then releasing it. And each time you round, I want you to think about dropping your head and feeling a stretch through the back, then release. Don't arch, just come back to a parallel position. Back to parallel again. And round, use the abdominals, and release. Give me one more. Round it up and release. Now round the back and step on up and let's come back to center. Good job. Inhale up. Exhale out. And again, take another deep breath. Exhale out. One more good deep breath. Inhale up. And this time let it all out. And I want you to think about the shoulders. They tend to creep up. I want you to press them down and back. Shake them out, get rid of all that tension. Let's finish off with the ankles. Other ankle. Just circle it around. Two, three, and now the wrist. Take it around. Two, three, and I just want you to tighten everything up. Tighten everything up. And release it all out and shake it out. One last word. With all this talk about losing fat and dropping pounds, I just want to reinforce one crucial point. 
My emphasis here in this tape, as in all my videos, is to help you shift your focus from getting thin to getting healthy. So practice this fat burning workout about three to four times a week and you'll not only lose weight, but you'll stay fit and you'll get the results you want. Great job. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thanks. I'm Kathy Smith. Welcome to my fat burning workout. You know, everywhere I go, I meet people who want to lose weight, whether they're near their ideal weights or struggling to take off several extra pounds. Well, I'm happy to say that I've got a workout that's specifically designed to burn fat. What I've done in this program is taken three of the latest discoveries about fat and fitness and put them right to work for us. First of all, it's low and slow. That means you'll be working at the lower end of your target heart rate and at a slower pace, one that's surprisingly comfortable. In this program, the music, beats, and moves are all specially designed to keep you in this low intensity target range because that keeps you in a fat burning state. Secondly, time is on your side in this video. In traditional aerobics, you only really get about 15 to 20 minutes of continuous movement. Stopping at that point just barely taps into your fat stores. You see, when the body starts moving, its first reaction is to use glycogen, a muscle sugar, as fuel. That's because glycogen is immediately available to the muscles. Now the truth is, is that you don't slim down much when you're burning glycogen. However, you really change your shape when the body starts burning fat as its chief fuel. But that takes a little longer. As you exercise beyond that 15 minute mark, a greater percentage of your energy comes from fat deposits. By 30 minutes, you've got about 75% of your energy coming from fat. And beyond that, you start hitting the 99% fat burning stage. In this video, you'll get over 40 minutes of fat burning workout. And thirdly, muscle toning with continuous movement. Instead of toning work done on the floor like in many programs, you'll be performing all that great figure shaping while standing, dancing, and of course, burning fat. The muscle toning focus segments are a real breakthrough and unique to this workout. They're based on brand new research that shows a greater fat burning capacity occurs when continuous movement is coupled with muscle toning. Now comments from people who have used this workout range from men telling me that they've gotten rid of stubborn spare tires to women reporting that they have noticeably reduced the size of their thighs and hips, places that were resistant to other types of workouts. It's a sure bet that you can get great results, so give it your best shot. Now, just a few words of caution before we jump in. Pay close attention to the body check inserts during the warm-up. They're meant to keep you well aligned 